Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel for another video today. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough on my refrigerator, my pantry, my freezer, and my deep freezer. I'm gonna start doing this video monthly as a way to keep track of what I have and to just sort of round out the content on my channel. I know you see the what's for dinners and the grocery hauls and the Costco hauls and the Sam's Club hauls, but like, I want to sort of open my channel up more to just on the overall storage and functionality of my kitchen. So we're going to be starting that today um, and I hope that you enjoy. So we are going to start in my refrigerator and literally go through everything. Now I went through this morning and cleaned my, all of it, my refrigerator, my both freezers, the pantry, cleaned it all out. We've been to the grocery store, meaning that everything is fully stocked for the week. So you guys will be getting a look at what our fridge looks like. You know, this is like mid January. I'll probably do the next one before I go to Costco or Sam's Club next time. So this will be a look at my fridge and pantry, how they stand and they will stand for about the next month. So without further ado, there's a lot to go through. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting in the fridge, this is sort of an overall picture of what our fridge is looking like right now. Um, like I mentioned, I did just clean it out and I also went to the grocery store. So over on the door here, up here, we do have a nice full thing of eggs. And then this is all, you know, condiments. There's Chick-fil-A sauce back there. Um, we have some salsa, a couple different kinds of salsa. This is ranch dressing that we actually don't like, but I'm really hoping we can just use it up. Um, ketchup. And then back here is that wing sauce from Great Value um, that I got a couple of, I think it was last week. And then, you know, just more dressing. This is actually a habanero ranch that we got um, from Pepper Palace, I believe, um, that Chris really likes. And then we just have that giant jar of mayonnaise I got a couple weeks ago. My absolute favorite Marzetti ranch dressing. Um, and then I think these are just barbecue sauces. Yeah, so some Memphis, Memphis style barbecue sauce. This one is a Duke's Carolina Gold. Um, you know, just a bunch of different barbecue sauces. And then I've been drinking these for breakfast every morning and I'll usually put one or two in the refrigerator like the night before or like, you know, every other night or whatever. Up on this top shelf is where we keep all of our drinks. So we use a Brita filter because the water in our refrigerator is has never been good. So I don't know why, but we use a Brita filter. So we have that there. There is some Gold Peak sweet tea. I think there's two of them. There's another one back there. Um, there's a thing of orange juice right there. And then my ultimate favorite, Calafia Farms cold brew. Um, I mentioned this in my grocery haul, but it is like the best stuff in the entire world. And then most of you know that Finley drinks the A2 milk because she has like a little bit of sensitivity to like regular milk. So we have two of those for her. And then there's a regular whole milk back there for the other kids. So this is sort of just our drink shelf here. Now, moving down to the next shelf, we have this container here that we use for yogurts. Um, both of my girls really like yogurt. So we have these I got from Costco, no, Sam's Club. So there are some strawberries, some blueberry, and then some peach yogurts in there as well. Um, these muffins are from the company Wolferman's um, and they are absolutely amazing. Um, so, my mom and I order these once a year, like around Christmas time, you can get like 12 packs of them for like $50. So the chocolate chocolate chip are my absolute favorite. So I have a couple in here and then you will see some in the deep freezer that I freeze. Um, but yeah, seriously, if you've never had Wolferman's English muffins, oh my gosh, they are the best things in the entire world. We also have some, just one of these nacho cheese Lunchables, Kylie likes those. We have some cheese dip. This is from Sam's Club. There's a couple of things of sour cream. And then there's another salsa back here, right there. Apparently I didn't know that we had all of this salsa. I have a bit of a coffee creamer addiction. So I have one of the Coffee Mate Cinnamon Toast Crunch, one of the Food Lion Vanilla Caramel, and then that one back there is a Great Value Vanilla Caramel. So apparently I'm all coffee 
creamered out for the next while. On this next shelf, so this was just sitting up there, we have fruit. So there are two things of blueberries. There's two things of strawberries back there and then a container of grapes. Now you guys haven't seen the Costco haul yet. You will actually see it um, Friday, but that is where I got all of this fruit. So I mentioned on Monday in my grocery haul that I didn't buy a lot of fruit because we had a bunch and this is what I meant. So we have, you know, lots of, lots of fruit to work with down there. And then there's just a Sprite for Bryson. And then I'm going to skip down to this shelf just because it goes along with the fruit, but we have like some of our vegetables. So like lettuce and broccoli and green peppers, and then a ton of apples and oranges that the kids eat on as well. All of my kids love mandarin oranges so much. Um, I just need to plant an orange tree, I think is what I need to do. Um, and then in this drawer here is all of our like lunch meats and cheeses. So we have some cheese sticks here, a couple of bags of cheese. This is still actually kind of frozen because I just took it out. There is some sliced Munster cheese under there. This was like a deal of the week of meat and cheese deal. So it's some um, sliced chicken breast and then Munster cheese. There is, let's see, bologna, some cream cheese, and then like lots of pepperoni and salami because Finley loves that. This is pepperoni, pepperoni, and then this one is salami. We have several sticks of butter back there. And then this bacon I actually just bought for um, breakfast this week. Now my refrigerator is yelling at me. And then the last thing down here is just like a drink drawer. So there's some, you know, alcoholic beverages, some hard seltzers, and then some juice boxes for the kids. So that is all of the refrigerator. And we're just gonna go ahead straight into the indoor freezer. Now in the indoor freezer, this is where I keep all the stuff that we use. There's nothing on our shelves on the side, but stuff that we use, you know, on a, daily or like weekly or just use more often than other stuff um so we do have one of these chicken chorizo burritos in there and then we're gonna go ahead and start on the top shelf so this is pretty much all frozen vegetables so we have you know some peas some green beans some corn another bag of peas and then there are a couple of these pasta with cheesy pasta with broccoli. they're really easy size to have for dinner and then back there those are actually those wings that I was talking about in my grocery haul that we are going to be using up this week. So pretty much the top shelf is all um, vegetables. The second shelf is kind of a myriad of things. There's a couple things of ice cream. So we have this cookies and cream ice cream, the um, vanilla and chocolate one. And then back there is actually a bunch of like frozen meals like macaroni and cheeses um, and stuff like that. And then taquitos and this is corn on the cob. This shelf, um, and then the bottom shelf too as well. This is stuff that I actually bought in my grocery haul. Um, so some Texas toast and then some chicken nuggets. But other than that under here is really just like random stuff. There is a steak that apparently we need to use, some Parker house rolls and some popsicles. So, and a bottom tray thing that I apparently really need to clean out that I didn't notice this morning. Oopsie daisy. Um, and then we have some steak fries up here, hash browns. Let's see what else is back there. Um, some frozen nan bread. We use that to make pizzas. And then a couple of breakfasts. There's some chocolate chip pancakes or waffles back there, buttermilk pancakes. And then in the back there, that is all tortillas. There are some corn tortillas and some um, flour ones as well. And then we do just have some steakums. Um, I bought that when I did that stromboli, which I made a recipe for, and I'll link it below if I can remember. Um, and we just have a few more of those to use up. So that is the indoor freezer. Let's go ahead and do the pantry and then we can move on. We'll go outside and do the outdoor freezer. So this is our pantry. We still have a little Christmas bear up there because Finley loves him and we just haven't taken him down. So heading on in here, I'm gonna turn the light on. We will start on this side. So down on the floor is mostly drinks. So I have some of those Fairlife, let's see if I can get in the corner back here. Our pantry's not huge. Um, Fairlife um, protein drinks, water, some Gold Peak tea that is Chris's, and then a few different juices of the kids. That's a V8 Splash, a Hawaiian Punch, 
And then in the Cheetos container is actually Piper's dog food. Um, it keeps her out of it, so I keep it in there. <laughs> Moving up to the next shelf, this is our drink mix little tin. This is actually a little tin from the Dollar Tree. And then if you have been following my channel for a while, you have seen both of these tubs before. Let's see if I can pull one of them out here. So this one is actually mostly, well, it's all snacks really for the kids. So there are crackers in here, these little chewy, like chocolate chewy bars we got from Aldi. And then there's like fruit snacks and stuff in there. So this is, oh, and there's um, some of these Z bars. Yeah, and I think that's all that's in there. These are really good, by the way. If you've never had those, my kids love them. So that is the, the bin. Like usually if they ask me if they can have a snack, I'll say, yeah, pick something out of the bin and they know to come in here and that's what they can have. This bin is the forbidden bin. So this one is all candy and most of it is like Christmas candy from the stockings and stuff um, that will probably get thrown away come Valentine's Day because that's what I do. But I mean, there is, these are actually mine. The gobstoppers are delicious, but I mean, there's chocolate and airheads and, um, this is the big nerds <laughs> candy cane. Um, and yeah, some dark chocolate dove, like just all of the candy in there. And that's pretty much all that is on that shelf, but that is the bin that they probably use the most often for sure. Moving up to the next row. Again, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me organize these before. Um, this one is coffee. So it has all of Chris and I's K cups in there. Um, and I actually got all of them in there. So we don't have a box up there anymore. So definitely happy about that. And then this says snack bars, but both of these tins have actually sort of morphed into being um, breakfast food. So we have some pop tarts in this one. There's some like chocolate donuts back there. These are from um, Sam's Club and then a bunch of muffins in this one and muffins in this one, as well as some of these um, fig bars, which Finley actually eats as snacks. I throw them in the diaper bag she will eat those. So when the kids come down in the morning to get breakfast, this is where they come. And then they will usually get, um, some fruit, like an orange or something to go with it on the next shelf is snacks. So we have some tortilla chips. We're big tortilla chips eaters in this house. These are both pretzels. There's some Doritos. Um, you guys know, if you follow us, that Bryson loves the, that pub mix back there. And then this s'mores mix we bought, um, in my last Sam's haul in the New Year's Eve like for New Year's Eve stuff. And there's actually a whole bag of it left. And then like, this is like two thirds of a bag. And then these dark chocolate pretzels Bryson picked and he ate them one time and hasn't again. So I sort of put them front and center so that maybe everybody will remember that they exist. We have some popcorn here. That's where we keep all of our um, like microwave full popcorn and some pirate's booty. And then up top, we really just keep like extra stuff. Um, well, the, the tub of goldfish is there, but then there's extra goldfish back there, extra Nutrigrain bars, and then just some extra chips. So we have a bag of ultimate cheddar Doritos and then these spicy ranch ones we bought at Sam's club and they're really good. And then there's an extra bag of skinny pop back there. So that's kind of just where we keep, you know, the snacks that the kids don't eat as often. So that is that side of the pantry. And then moving on to this side on the floor. So this bag of dog food, I actually just bought in my grocery haul and that, what baby? Yeah. Bubba's outside. Um, so this bag of dog food will actually go into this container. I just haven't done that yet. Um, and then Max eats the chicken and rice recipe from, uh, Sam's club. And then the rest of this side is really just drinks. So there's Dr. Pepper, Sprite, Cheerwine. And then under there is actually Gatorade for like basketball practice and stuff. And then we just have trash bags and extra baggies and stuff like that down there. Moving up to this shelf, this is all baking. So there's lots of different types of sugar. There's brown sugar, there's light brown, dark brown, powdered sugar. Um, there's some vegetable oil back there. I don't know if it's focusing. There we go. And then, you know, flour, extra salt, stuff like that. This tub is like marshmallows and cornstarch and baking powder and sprinkles and, you know, 
all of the things and then there is some of the sam's club buttermilk pancake mix back there but this one i bought this who remembers this from a grocery haul like probably four months ago and i never made it and the icing's still back there too i need to make those sometime soon but that is sort of my baking shelf so i kind of know where it all is if and when i need it which i don't actually bake that often so i'm not sure why i have a whole shelf of baking stuff but i digress Moving up next is the canned good shelf. Um, so we have lots of, like these are Rotel. I wasn't aware that we already had a can of Rotel or I wouldn't have bought it this week. Um, but there's, you know, cream corn, there's some oranges. Oh, there's lots of cans of Rotel. Oh my goodness, okay. Don't need Rotel for a while. Um, but we have some chili beans, lots of cans of green beans because we eat those quite often. Um, several different things of Alfredo sauce. I think these are all different brands, like great value. And then, oh no, this one's Rayo's. And then this one's Bertoli. Yes. Three different cans of, um, Alfredo sauce. Finley's back there saying mommy. Um, but yeah, so pretty much just all of our canned goods are right here. Um, I just bought a lot of these beans for meals this week. So a lot of these will get eaten through this week. And then we have a two pack of the Rayo's, um, spaghetti sauce, which you would have seen in a Sam's Club haul recently. This is extra rice. So this container back here is rice. And then we just throw the extra, um, you know, here to store it until we need it. We have some oatmeal and then a couple different bags of croutons. This shelf is probably the most used on this side. So this is where we keep like pastas and rice and like, you know, pre-made stuff. So I have that Zatarain's jambalaya that you guys know that we love. This is the Aldi yellow rice, which again, we're obsessed with. And then these are all pastas again that I actually just bought. So there's some rotini right there and then some elbow noodles. Behind the pastas are like extra barbecue sauces, um, like cooking sprays, pancake syrup, stuff like that. Um, and then there's some wow butter back there. If you're not, if you're new to my channel, we don't eat peanut butter here. So we have the wow butter. This container here is all like microwavable cups of mac and cheese or rice or whatever, just quick meals. And then this box back here is literally just full of, well, there's some taco seasoning, but other than that, it's full of these boxes of Velveeta and some onion soup mix. So I just kind of threw them all in that container to store them back there. And then up top, we just have some Pillsbury cookies that we need to eat through. That is some Fruit Loops and some powdered Gatorade. And that is everything that is in my pantry. We don't have the biggest pantry, but it works. I try to keep it organized, but again, I fail most of the time because I don't know. I wish that this wall was knocked out but that's a linen closet. So can't really do that, but it would be so much better if that not, that wall was gone. But anyway, that's the pantry. We just have the deep freezer left. So let's go ahead and do that. And then that will complete the tour for this month. Okay, now this is our deep freezer in the garage. Um, it's just a standard deep freezer. And when we open it, you can see it's about half full right now. So we have, some of that pasta con queso. I bought this at Sam's Club. It was like a limited edition thing and we haven't eaten that yet. A lot of what is out here is like extra meat and stuff like that. Like stuff that we don't need on a daily basis. Um, so we have a couple of these meat lovers breakfast bowls. These in aluminum foil are actually loaves of bread. And then let's see, there's some biscuits in here trying to get down in here for you guys. Um, these are those Wolferman's muffins that I was telling you about. I believe there are four more packs out here. We have several packs of these sausages I bought at Santa Club, as well as several things of um, chicken tenders. Let's see what else. There is some steak out here. I believe there's two of those left. But yeah, pretty much chicken. Um, this is some shredded chicken that I bought at Costco last time that we will use in a casserole. And then there are also six of these muffins because I froze six the last time we went to um, Sam's Club. Let's see if there's anything else over here on this side. This is actually um, bread from Costco, again, that you will see in the Costco haul. 
This is some sharp cheddar cheese. And yeah, I think that's it. There's another thing of sausage down here. And then, oh, I just miss ground beef. So that is everything that's in here because again, I keep stuff that we use most often in the um, freezer inside. I'm trying to reach this, I dropped a, a burrito bowl on the thing. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's in our deep freezer. It's mostly just extra meat. Um, like, like extra things we don't need extra meat, the muffins, bread, stuff like that, or like frozen prepared meals that we're not going to be eating, you know, during the, that week, that specific week when it's like, if this is going to be eaten next week, I would move it to the other freezers. Kind of how I try to work it. Okay. Okay. So that is our freezer fridge pantry tour for January. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Stick around, subscribe if you're not so that you don't miss any future videos. And until the next one, guys, I will see you soon and have a great day. Bye guys. Dream,